Let's get salty! Everyone, Zeddy here again today with a brand new video and happy holidays to all of you. Hope you're all having a great Christmas day, celebrating whatever you're celebrating or just having a good day. That's all that really matters. And today we're going to start off our year and recap series where we go look through what's the most broken card of the year, the worst card of the year, the best decks, the best Hearthstone YouTubers, the best Battlegrounds YouTubers, and it all culminates with the year end awards show, the Zeddy's third annual, where we'll go through my picks for the most busted cards and all that stuff and your picks because there'll be a Google Doc for you all to participate in. I'll have that available in the next few days and the Zeddy should take place on New Year's Eve or New Year's Day. I haven't picked it out yet. Plus, I got to see what people can join because typically we've had some special guests. Last year, we had like Rarin, we had Alkali Lake, we had it's Ben. We'll see if we could get somebody this time. We had Regis as well. We'll see what we could do. But yeah, should be a lot of fun and a lot of reminiscing while we're in this holiday time. And yes, there is a giveaway. I am celebrating this whole award season as well as 62,000 subscribers by doing another giveaway out of my pocket. And rather than like some specific bundle or whatever, I thought I would pick two $100 pack winners. Basically two people won $100 worth of packs. You can pick whatever they want. It's out of my pocket. All you have to do to enter is like and comment on this video. And since this video is gonna be about what is the most broken card released in 2022, well, I guess put in your pick we'll have the winners mine and all of that at the zeddies but let's go through class by class take a look at what is the most busted card and i'm not going to give a final answer that will be for the award show but i will nominate at least one card from each class as well as neutrals the expansions released this year by the way the uh, march to lich king castle nathria and voyage to the sunken city and starting off with death knight the class that's uh not been uber powerful but pretty darn good it's the card i'm gonna go with it's made the best deck the best death light deck probably the most realistic is glacial advance effectively one mana deal for damage that can combo other stuff you can cheat out other things it allows uh basically frost death knight to be this crazy burn deck it's pretty powerful it's pretty good but nothing's like completely outright broken in death knight right now so that's what i'm gonna go with demon hunters uh busted cards mostly came from like prior year like drekthar got nerfed early in the year that was ridiculous the hero card's always been good you could argue Argue the colossal minion you could all argue unleash fell but i'm gonna go with relic of dimensions this card is just broken like let's be real it got nerfed from five to six it's still ridiculous at six the amount of mana cheat you can get when coupled with the you know the, the location doubling up its effect ridiculous absolute scams and for me it's the most broken demon hunter deck our card of the year well guff did not come out this year it came out last year so i don't have to go with that one for druid and like a lot of the other classes a lot of its most broken cards are from prior years, but we got to go with the new card that just got nerfed again. A new Brecon. This didn't just be three minions. It used to be as many minions as you want, as long as you had the armor. And well, it's still busted with the Astalor interaction. But again, this card just, we know would be utterly broken on release. And yeah, it took like all of two weeks to get nerfed and is still a relevant card at its current state. I'll give an honorable mention of Scale of Anixia, which was Alterac Valley, but came out in the mini set this year but I, I still gotta give the bump to Nubrakon but it's a pretty close one honestly for Hunter it, it's gotta be Wild Spirits this card effectively got nerfed what twice or three times we, we saw so many different changes to the Wild Seeds that were summoned whether the Taunt lost a health the weapon lost an attack and then the Steed that summoned the weapon also lost plus one plus one in stats and it still a pretty good card to this day and this was like the best card of the whole package you gotta give it to wild spirits i mean you you could also mention the recent shock spitter which is absolutely disgusting and i could see even getting nerfed again so between those two they're probably gonna get nerfed twice each like that's how stupid both of these are for mage i'm gonna go with a card that's pretty much forgotten at this point but man was it good upon release spite last siren this is a four mana card that would allow you to just pop off with these absolutely broken turns like infinite mana generation and it got nerfed really quickly even before it was like a top top tier deck it was still that good despite it had terrible matchups 
all across the board because of the scams of this card. And I just think it was the most busted and I enjoyed playing it a lot. So I'm going to nominate it. Looking at Paladin, you, you want to think Carriel, but again, that was last year. I'm just going to go with the Leviathan. This card like went into like almost every deck until recently. Pure Paladin doesn't run it, I don't believe. But still, this goes into like aggro decks because it's just so good. You get a draw, you get a dredge. It's an incredible body that's really hard to remove with a double divine shield. Just an outright busted card and is slotted into multiple standard and wild decks. Priest recently saw two cards get nerfed with Priestess Valish. She got the Naga wig and all these cards. But the card I think is the most broken is a card that has not been nerfed. And I rarely hear about it talked about, but it's Illuminate. This card is absolutely insane. Coming out in Sunken City, it's a zero minus spell. You dredge. If it's a spell, reduces cost by three. Basically made Big Priest come back in wild with turn two uh, Neptulons. Absolutely nasty. And it allows so many of these scams and so much consistency in these Priest decks. You just don't hear about it talked about. But you know what? For me, I think it's the bu most busted Priest card of the year. With, of course, honorable mention to Switcheroo, which uh, didn't initially swap health and also got banned in wild. So pretty broken in that regard. So you could definitely consider that one as well, as I'm sure you guys might mention other cards to boot. Rogue, I don't even know where to begin. You've got Shadow of Demise, got tons of different, just absolutely busted cards in here, including in recent editions like Putricide. Or if you're like Nova, it's Scabs, even though it came out last year and is only really broken in wild. Don't tell, don't tell. Nova. For me, it's a no-brainer. Sinstone Graveyard. This was two mana not that long ago. Summon a 1-1 one -one Stealth with Ghosts is plus one, plus one for each card you play this turn. Ridiculous card. The scams has created the amount of hair I've lost. How do I have any hair left after all the stress? Especially that rogues put me through. But yeah, Sinstone Graveyard, so good that it like even was like top tier, tier one and wild with the whole miracle variant there absolutely broken card and i'm very glad that it's three and it's still actually pretty good from what i can tell and that's kind of scary shaman i'm going clownfish this card has just enabled so many different things in both standard and wild the mana cheat you could couple with this to do all sorts of disgusting turns basically you want to run a merlot package in like every deck that's not like a big style scam thing or like pure aggro but even pure aggro pure merlot aggro decks this card just fits in it's incredibly good super strong and yeah it turns out mana cheat is really good especially when you can bank it and yeah clownfish for me by far the most broken shaman card of the year warlock i i don't know which one to pick is it a pending catastrophe is it the location the location just outright kills you and this was nerfed too and it's still like tier one pretty much its entire run utterly disgusting plus one plus one for each mp control repeatable twice it's only two mana and it's really easy to spam imps it's just what a ridiculously good card and uh yeah just slightly broken fun fact did you know warrior used to be a class in hearthstone this year and yes from the depths was a really broken card at three mana dredging getting your bottom five cards to cost three less it went up a mana and while well, warrior's been dead ever since outside of some enraged list it also got nerfed alongside the colossal mini which is utterly broken too but from the depths was really the big enabler of the broken strats and yeah it, it's definitely the most broken warrior card but there's just not many to pick from and for neutrals i'll mention a few because there are some heavyweights here astalor which is in like over half of decks now is pretty damn good getting that armor gain and then the massive damage on the eight cost part pretty busted and yeah this card will probably get nerfed at some point prince renathal just allowed people to play late game that's broken so it got nerfed and control is dead again theotar for four mana at the time could just yoink a win condition out of your opponent's hand one to five it's six now and still sees reasonable play pretty darn busted raid boss anixia and kazakasan both were very impactful minions for a period of time this year as well you definitely could go with one of those but for me it's gotta be sire denathrius this guy ended more games than any card throughout the year all you had to do is have a bunch of minions die and your opponent would blow up or if you were a druid you got to play brand with it and absolutely destroy your opponent and yeah for me most busted neutral of the year has got to be sire denathrius so let me know in the comments below below well since you gotta enter the giveaway anyways what your picks are and again happy holidays to everyone enjoy the video please like and subscribe have a great day and stay salty my friends